Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here, this is the question. A 17 years old male present to the clinic. He complains of difficulty using his left hand. It has been a persistent problem since he sustained a distal humerus fracture as a child. On examination, there is diminished sensation overlying the hypothenar eminence and medial one and half fingers what is the most likely nerve lesion so first of all we have to find out the key point it is one of the big question so carefully we have to find out the key point so let's see the key point from the question first of all humerus fracture occur and it is located at the distal part so this is the first clue that the humerus fracture occurs at child and it located distally then on examination there is diminished sensation over lengthy hypothenar eminence so we have to find out a nerve which supplies the hypothenar area and also the medial one and half finger so we have to find out a nerve which supplies both the hypothenar eminence and the medial one and half fingers and this nerve passes through the distal humerus here the options options are anterior interosseous nerve posterior interosseous nerve ulnar nerve median nerve and a radial nerve so we have to find out one of the nerve which is compatible with this clinical fissure so let's see first of all this is the thinner eminence and here this is the hypothenar eminence so in case of one this thinner eminence it located in the lateral part during the anatomical position and hypothenar muscle it is located into the in the medial part and here we can see this is the hypothenar area and here this is the medial one and half finger so this area nerve supply will be damaged so in the hypothenar area and lateral half here we can see medial one and half it is supplied by the nerve which is the ulnar nerve so it is clear now that the hypothenar area and medial one and half finger it is supplied by the ulnar nerve and here we can see the median nerve it supplies the lateral three and half finger so medial nerve it supplies the thumb index middle and part of the ring finger and a radial nerve it supplies a minimum portion here and here we can see this picture is very very important that it is showing in the different part of the humerus and different nerve injury this is the surgical neck and the surgical neck fracture may damage axillary nerve then we can see this is the mid shaft of the humerus and mid shaft of the humerus fracture may injure the radial nerve then we can see this is the supracondylar area so injury to the supracondylar area it is occurred uh, uh, it may damage this nerve which is the median nerve and ulnar nerve it may occur during the medial epicondyle and the this medial epicondyle it located most inferior part so our answer is now ulnar nerve because the ulnar nerve it is located the distal part of the humerus so during fracture of this distal part it may damage the ulnar nerve and this ulnar nerve it supplies the hypothenar eminence and medial on half of the finger so our answer is the ulnar nerve thank you all